Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to a remote machine using SSH on your Windows 11 operating system. So, for example, I want to connect to a remote server using SSH and I want to access all the file system or run some commands on that remote server. Uh, how can I do it on my Windows operating system? Let's see. So, Windows 11 already comes with the PowerShell utility and this PowerShell already have the SSH client installed. And to check that, you can just search for PowerShell here and then open PowerShell. So just open the PowerShell for example. And once PowerShell is open, just write this command SSH here and then press enter and it's going to give you this kind of output which is usage and then ssh and then it's going to uh, give you some help uh, flags here which you can use to connect to the remote server so once you see this kind of output that means ssh client is already there on your windows operating system and you can use powershell to connect to any remote server over ssh now, for the demonstration purposes, I have this virtual machine set up and this virtual machine already have OpenSSH server running on it. And I want to connect to this virtual machine using my Windows operating system and access all the file systems and uh, access basically everything in this remote server, right? It can be any remote server in your case. Now, in order to check whether SSH is running on your remote server, the command is really simple. It's sudo systemctl status SSH. Just run this command on your remote server and then give your password. And if it says active running, that means uh, open SSH server is running on that uh, server and you can connect to this uh, remote server over SSH. Now, in order to connect to this uh, virtual machine, let me clear the terminal. You just need to know the username and IP address of your remote machine and hopefully the password to log into your machine, right? So the username here is CodeBind in my case. Just know the username of your remote uh, machine, right? In order to know the IP address, uh, for this demonstration, I can give if config command here because this is just a virtual machine running locally on my system, right? So you can see this is the IP address right now. So I can just connect to this virtual machine using this IP address. In your case, it can be the IP address or the host name of your remote machine. So I know the IP address, I know the username, and I also know the password of this uh, remote operating system. Then on your PowerShell, you just need to give this command. Just write SSH and then the username. In my case, as I said, username is code bind. So I'm going to give the username here at the rate IP address. So in my case, the remote machines IP address is this. So I'm going to give this uh, IP address, which is 192.168.152.128. And then my OpenSSH server is running on the default port, which is uh, 22. The default port for OpenSSH is 22. If this um, default port is different on your remote server, then you can give hyphen P and then the port number of that uh, remote server, right? In my case, I don't need to give any IP address because I'm running OpenSSH server on this virtual machine on the default port, which is 22. You can also give 22, which is essentially going to connect to uh, port 22. But if you don't give this uh, hyphen P22 uh, command, also it will work, right? I will press enter here and then you will see this kind of uh, output which says the authority of host this can't be established uh, key fingerprint is this one 
this key is not known by any other names are you sure you want to continue connecting i just need to type yes here and then press enter which is going to ask me for my virtual machine or remote server's password right so you need to give the password of this remote machine which you use to log into your a uh, remote machine so let me give that password and then press enter and i think i uh try and i think i uh, just typed wrong password so let me retry again and then this time hopefully it works and it works you see now i can see username is code bind which is same here right so now i'm connected remotely to my remote operating system over ssh so let's try something so let me clear the terminal here let me clear the terminal here also and if i do ls here i will see similar kind of outputs uh or similar kind of folders and files which i will see here when i try to uh give ls commands command here right so you can see all files and folders are same as my remote machine so essentially what i'm doing here is i'm just accessing this remote machine over ssh in this powershell right so everything you see on your remote machine you will have the access to that in your ssh connection right so now you can do uh uh any task or you can perform any uh command in this uh powershell and it will run on your remote system so that's how you can connect to a remote server or remote uh, machine over ssh using windows 11 i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video